So folks, I talked many times about my bout with MGH, otherwise known as Magic Gay Hands, and it's something that I've been dealing with all my life, and unfortunately, I still can't make a coin vanish without showing symptoms of Magic Gay Hands. Now, MGH is something that magicians have had forever. However, I had really downplayed the severity of the topic of this video, which is magic voice, magic gay voice. Now, here's the thing I know, 2021 Pride Month, you're talking like a middle schooler pig cake. Why are you saying gay like that? Be butter. Be better. Be better. Be better. Be better. Be butter. Shut up. So magic voice is a problem because I could immediately determine who's a magician just based on certain characteristics about their voice. Their loudness, magicians tend to want to be the loudest one in the rooms. They tend to coincide with the theater kids that were taught vocal lessons in order to project their voice. However, you don't have to project your voice in a Starbucks. You don't have to be projecting your voice, checking out of a grocery store, changing a $1 bill to a $20 bill, so then you could pay. That is wasting my time. I actually have a superpower where if you drop me in a room, I can not only determine who are the magicians in that room, but I could also tell you who are the teachers. They all dress the same JC Penny. They have the same shoes. It's really not much of a superpower, but I really don't have much. Now, I've brought some examples here from TikTok that hopefully won't get me a copyright strike on YouTube. And uh, these are just some examples of what magic voice sounds like. As I riffle through these cards, I need you to see one, not the bottom one. It's too obvious. Here we go. Okay, hopefully you saw one. Think of your card, red or black. Watch closely. Inside this envelope, if we rip it open, there is now one playing card inside. If this is the card you saw, promise me you'll tag a friend in the comments and hit the follow button for more magic. Now he does have a pass because of the uh, what sounds like to be an Irish accent there. So this one is a pretty terrible example. And honestly, I was looking for magicians and this one just popped out first. So I'm showing it to you guys. However, you see that there's a difference in the tonality of the voice from a normal person to a magician. There's something there that makes him a little bit different than the normal person and not in a good way. It's a really nuanced thing. It's kind of subtle. You really need to have spent uh, approximately 21 years doing magic tricks in order to best point out the characteristics in magic voice. Showing you guys an easy magic trick that anyone can do. Do you want to see a magic trick? Yeah, yeah. Right, you see this bottle cap? I bet, yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet yeah. you can make it disappear. Put your hand over it. Put your hand and then... Baby, you can't do it with all of these rings. What are you oh my god, right. Put your hand over it, put your hand over it, and now blow. You see what I mean? It's a very distinctive loudness in the voice. And whereas I hate that that's a very clever way of making something vanish from somebody's hand, I just can't help but want to find this individual and give him a nice, uh, a nice old fashioned uppercut. What you're about to see is so impossible that you're probably going to think it's a camera trick, but I promise you it's not. We start off by pouring some water inside of a glass, just like this. We then take a coin. We place the coin inside of the glass, just like this. And then we're going to need some olive oil we place a bit of the olive oil inside of the water then we take some salt we put the salt in just like that then we take some baby powder now this is one of the kings of magic voice i believe his name's dan rhodes he's gotten quite a bit popular on tiktok but uh i'd say that this guy's probably uh as he calls himself the ceo of magic voice uh, here take a look can you figure out a way to get this coin through that hole? Probably not, but it's actually really easy. All you've got to do, take the hole, you stretch the hole out just like that. Then you take the coin, you place it through the little hole, and then all you've got to do is put everything right back together. And that made absolutely no sense, did it not? I'm really sorry. Oh. Now you could just imagine being there trying to sip on your dragon drink from Starbucks and looking across the uh, lobby there and seeing this individual recording himself with a, with a ring light and screaming into the camera about whatever prop he happens to be holding. Now, in his instance of magic voice, I would say it's pretty, pretty terminal. Uh, it's not really something you could treat. In this case, it's something you're going to have to deal with for the rest of your life. But look at the benefit. You get millions upon millions of views on TikTok. So that's a thing. Oh, honey, baby, sugar doll. Yes, I absolutely can show you the back of the watch. It is perfectly 
fine, totally examinable. And for those wondering what's in this hand, nothing. Now, magicians that have contracted magic voice aren't really good when it comes to uh, comebacks or going and riffing with people. So you really can't uh, go back and forth with a person with magic voice, as you could see from that previous video. Just the intro there. You could have really dug into that individual that was accusing you of cheating and having some sort of gimmick involving the back of the watch. But instead, you went with a, a really weird, slightly effeminate. Oh, honey, baby, sugar doll. Hey, yo, go. Do a magic trick. I got you. Damn it. What? Hey, yo, Josh, do a magic trick. Bro, easy. Okay, What's okay. This? It's gone, dude. It, like that. Uh, uh, hey, yo, Nate, do a magic trick. Bro, magic is so easy. Watch the ace. Right? Watch the ace. Watch the ace. Now it's a king, baby. Uh, I can also tell if you're from California. That's another superpower that I have. It's very easy. Usually you're wearing Carhartt gear, which is another thing I have a problem with because Carhartt used to be for the people that laid the foundation and the backbone for the United States of America. People that work, construction workers, mechanics, and now it's taken by hipsters. Hipster virgins that have never done a push-up in their life or even looked at the underneath of a car or a motorcycle. It's disgusting. You don't have an identity. As a matter of fact, wasn't there one that tried to sue a publication for using his picture and it ended up being another hipster? Now, this last one that I want to show you here is top tier magic content, the sort of stuff that I like. And uh, it's indicative of what 99% of you people do. Don't lie to yourself. You've done that before and you know exactly who you are. Now, that wasn't necessarily an example of magic voice. That is more of an example of magic gay hands, but you could see what I mean. And you've done that before. You know exactly who you are. Now, in this case, that is something you could change with awareness and a little bit of surgery. You'll be fine. You don't have to tear up papers that neatly. People don't do that in the real world. But magic voice is something that you really can't fix. Usually you could think that there's some sort of vocal exercises you could partake in to reduce magic voice, but unfortunately it's a part of the gig. Once you choose to take up the sacred pact and cut your first chicken head and drink the blood, unfortunately you cannot take care of your magic voice, but you can become aware of it, which is fine because then you can modulate it. You could kind of move the slider up and down. So please be aware of your magic voice and be aware that it's affecting those around you. Your family hates you more because of it. So that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for doing all the things that people do when it comes to videos. Maybe share this, share this on other platforms, uh, maybe even TikTok. Maybe if you're one of the people that have a significant case of MGV, you could make a TikTok saying, hey, look at this guy. He's talking about us and he's short. What does he really have to live for, right? And that knows. Wow, I didn't even know they could hook that way. He looks more like a like a like a hawk.